Hello, hello, welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome to a trailer analysis of the Shadow Generations Doom Powers trailer. So, uh, basically, we're just going to get right into this um, right now. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to play the trailer through. I'm not going to talk over it. And then we're going to slow it right the way down. We're going to go for it very, very slowly. We're going to try and analyze... Lula. Try and analyze everything. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Try and analyze everything from um, level design to environment. Literally everything we're going to try and um, pick apart and, and understand. So, without further ado, let's get started. Well, I'm going to play it through once and I'm not going to talk for this. Something calls to me. We meet again, Shadow the Hedgehog. Struggle all you want. You cannot deny your fate. New power. I'm gonna quickly talk and say this is really cool. <laughs> So the music is a really good remix. I am the true ultimate life form. And there we go. There is that. So, uh, I'll turn them off real quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll go away. Um, that is cool. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in days. Um, honestly, we might be looking at peak fiction right here. Um, we're going to start right the way down and we're going to analyze all of this. So to stop, maybe get this beginning a little intro bit. We can kind of skip over this a little bit. But it opens with Shadow obviously coming across this thing. We don't really know what this is. If this is a thing which unleashes Black Doom in the first place, maybe Shadow gets taken by the Time Eater and for some reason and then ends up Doom's here as some... I don't know. We don't really know what's going on the story here yet, especially as I'll get onto later. There are stages which are places that Shadow has never been and places which he hasn't been to yet, which doesn't really make sense considering they said it. this takes place along the side of regular generations. Uh, so I'm not really quite sure how that's going, but Black Doom's in this thing and basically launches and it goes into him like it was the Venom. It's very Venom-y, these powers actually are really quite um, Venom-like. Um, anyway, so these animations are actually absolutely beautiful. You can see behind Shadow here, there's the Space Colony arc with a, bit, a little bit of environment like it is in regular generations in the 3D white space. Uh, Shadow has. And uh, the thing is, actually, you can see this a bit later on. I'll point it out when we get to there. But it is literally just like a 3D thing. So I don't know if you'll be able to actually interact with these bits or what. Because this is like, I imagine how it does it in Generations, where to make that look like it's further away, they scale it in. But you can literally go around the other side of it and there's stuff there. So I'm not quite sure how this is all going to work out. But yeah, they have these um, little areas like they do in regular Generations. Anyway, Shadow's... I mean, these animations are just so nice. Look at him. Bro is suffering. It's so good. I love seeing him suffer. There's a space going arc behind him. A few platforms and stuff. Obviously, you can go on from the um, open world and stuff. He does that cool thing with his eye, which is from the reveal trailer, the CG, which is really cool. And we get the reveal of this, which is whatever it is. Doom Spear Strike five times at once. 
which is, as it will get there in a second, does this really cool animation where he does this awesome stuff. Really nice, really beautiful stuff. Boom, and there's that awesome frame that they revealed. Hang on, I think it's literally like that. I think it's that frame they revealed ages ago. But now we know it's from this. It's, look at that posing. All right, this environment is apparently um, Sunset Heights from Forces, and we a bit more clearly later. And I'll go into more detail of it then. But yeah, it does seem to be Sunset Heights from uh, Forces, which again brings in the question of how is Sunset Heights there when he hasn't been there yet because Forces takes place after Generations, and they said it takes place alongside Generations. What's going on there? Quite nice animations. I like how it doesn't stop your movement. You keep moving whilst you can use those attacks. Again, I think that's also Sunset Heights, because I'm pretty sure we see that little bit of level design later on with the spring there. Um, anyway, yeah, there's the chaos bit. So it just defeats the enemies. Here, we see um, Radical Highway, but in the day, which is quite interesting. Level design clearly goes up there. There's also a drops you onto that path. So clearly an alternate path there that you can come along and it drops you onto this section. And some more rings up there. There's also another path up there. So I don't know if that's another way you can go down that way. Or if maybe you could come up that way and then go up there. Or what? I don't really know what's going on over here. Unless you come down that way and then round and launch you onto that rail. Not really sure. But, um... Yeah, hang on. Yeah, not really sure what's going on there. Again, there's this bit of terrain that loops around here, so clearly I imagine it would be an alternate path. One takes you across over this section, one brings you around. Don't know what these little arrows on the floor mean yet. If there's some sort of special power you can use or what. We'll be seeing Radical Highway in a bunch of different settings. Again, we don't know if they're like extra missions or multiple stages, or maybe Radical Highway just turns up literally one. So, yeah, there's that. He's just doing his falling section. Again, here's the sunset heights. You can tell it looks a bit like it looks a bit more forces. Um like properly more in a bit, but we'll get to that obviously when we get there. Uh Doom Blast Launch Your Enemies. Now this is really cool. This is one I'm re also these are beautiful renders, by the way. But this is really, really, really cool. Um Again, look at look at him. Look how cool look at look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, they finally learn how to do things. Well done, Sonic Team. I am so proud of you. Look at him. Look at him. He is so raw. I love how they make his eyes look smaller to make him look more aggressive. And then launches the camera up. He's up there. Wait, here's the pose. Here's the pose. Here's the pose. Peak. That's the pose. That is the pose right there. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know this is actually a different bit. But yeah, you can tell us the Sunset Heights now. Um, or at least the environment forces like the resistance base. Because these walls and stuff look very, 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 very much like the resistance base. Um, pretty sure he launches the enemy up. Yeah, he launches the enemy up. Can you then homing attack onto the enemy? He does! So that's really cool. So you can launch the enemy. So there's obviously you'd either defeat the enemy and the thing would come down. You can launch the enemy up as well. Stuff like this I'm really excited for. And then you can hit it forwards again. Ring Tales is definitely Force at this point because they are the enemies from Forces. And this is, uh, reminds me a lot of, you know, in the classic Sonic stage, Sunset High, you can go under the under the ground. It looks exactly like yeah, this is Sunset Heights. Um, it looks like this is just going on a more straightforward bit where there's a homing attack chain, some obstacles to dodge up there. Okay. <laughs> Chaos Island. I don't know how this is here. Um, because Shadow has never been to Chaos Island. And again, this takes place after Generations. No, no idea how this is here. But there you go. Um, seems the level design here, we've got a few more. It's a bit more open. You know, it's more straightforward. You go through this little cave, but there are a few different platforms. Obviously, you know, you might be able to, like, you know, rather than going across all these different things, jump, boost onto here, maybe, or jump, boost, homing attack onto an enemy. Looks like they're there. Make your way up. It looks like a little thing you can grab onto, homing attack, the balloon, whatever. 
really cool. Not quite sure what Chaos Island is doing here, though. But I am excited. There's, oh, there's a few platforms up there. Looks like I don't know if they're just chilling there or if you'll be able to get up. But yeah, really cool looking. Again, here's the place from Forces. You can see those enemies in there. I don't know if they're only showing us the stuff underground at the moment because they don't want to show us for the reveal of Sunset Heights. Or what? Yeah, just... Whatever, there's that. And here's the doing in the train as well. Smashes open that wall. So this is something that's like really cool. Um, is another use of it. So, I mean, I think this is one of the coolest powers. I imagine get a bit of a boost if you can then attack the enemy afterwards. But he launches it and breaks the wall with it. Which I'm really excited for. To show more interaction in the environment. Here especially. So you can see here, this looks like it's in a 2D section. But there's enemies down there. But, but, but clearly, I imagine you'd make your way up there and onto there or alternatively hit the enemy into the yeah there's some spikes down there so presumably you'd be going your way up there and then up along these platforms up to here anyway you got the shortcut by launching the enemy into the thing which makes the rail appear it's usually grind rails that like the air that's such a attractive environment is so cool. This one I'm a little bit confused about. Doom Morph Conquer All Terrain. So I'm not really sure about this one. He turns into a giant squid. Um, yeah, this is probably the the least exciting one. Um, <laughs> this is definitely the least exciting one. Um, so it looks like there are uh, areas where you ha where it's mandatory you have to do it. I don't know if you if maybe you'll get hurt if you stand on these bits, or if it will just slow you down if you don't, or if it just automatically, or if you touch that board to put you in the squid. But you can then boost along that, and you can see he's in Chaos Island again. Um, we've got a bit of level design up there, so he can go down. That looks like a more open sort of area. I'm not really sure. Oh no, that, those are things you can swing off, but again, if you fall, like, there's a bottom of pit there, but if you fall, is that just going to kill you, or are you just going to be put down there? Like, what's going on? Another area here, you can see the Death Egg Robot from Chaos Island. A few more of these platforms and stuff you can swing on. Looks like there's also some terrain around there, so you'd probably, I imagine, go up there and then around there. It looks like you can make your way up these platforms. Maybe there, there'll be a like, or a grind rail, or a homing attack chain, or a... A, a launch pad or something down that area down there. Also, look, you know, you can swing off that one. You can swing off that one, which takes you up to these platforms up here. You can just about see. Um, there's an enemy up there, I think. So maybe it gives you a shortcut along there, put you up there a lot quicker, or you could uh, go up this other way. Short alternate branching paths. I'm really quite excited for. I'm trying to see what that is there. What is that? I don't know what that is. That looks like some sort of collectible, perhaps. Um, but yeah, really cool. I actually really like seeing... I mean, it makes no sense why Chaos Island is here. I'm sure they'll try and explain it, but yeah, it looks really cool. This looks like that. Is this the same section? This is a different section. These will either fill up your Chaos ability or your... I think they do um, Chaos Control. This, again, is Chaos Island. I initially thought it was, you know, in... You go into that, like, temple thing. I think it's actually a bit under the ground, because it's got the lighting on the roof. And the lighting on the roof was pre pre a little bit present in the underground area in Chaos Island. Um, so I assume this is that. But yeah, this, anything that's purple, I guess, this will stick to. Um... Yeah, that's that's kind of the one I'm least excited for. Doom Wings. Now, Doom Wings I'm kind of intrigued for, because I don't think it's my favourite. I think my favourite is the one they launch enemies. This one clearly would let you, like, skip over parts of the stage, which we'll see now. This, by the way, is really cool. Um, okay, and here we can see, this looks like it's in the white space. We see a bit of Chaos uh, Island here. So I assume this is similar to where we saw the Space Colony arc bit at the beginning. I assume this is the um, Chaos Island area where the to the stages. Um, 
I mean, incredibly raw. The way it just flies down, puts you back into the gameplay. Really neat. Um, you can see Radical Highway here. We've got the glimpse and the advertisement stuff that were there in the original. But here, so you can see he just launches off and he can fly. So I don't know if there'll be... Oh god, I've just muted him. Um, there'll be, I don't know if there's specific areas you'll be able to do this. Or... I don't know how it's going to be managed. Because you can clearly see there's the rings here which indicate where you're supposed to go. But also... I have no idea how it's going to be managed if you'll only be able to do it in specific areas. Or... I imagine it'll be done that way, because even the Wisps did that in Colours. Um, you know, you get a Wisp, and it's like, you can use places, but there'll be specific places they just don't let you use it at all. Like, if you have a Wisp, but no, you cannot use it here. Um, nothing. But you can clearly see you can either go around and do it, or you've got this bunch of levels on here. There's a bit here you can clearly go on to if you make some sort of jump, I'd imagine. Or maybe if you dropped your wings, you'd be able to land there. Not quite sure. Um, I like that way. Which then takes you on to probably that path, yeah, yeah, that path around there, which goes down there. You can see it goes around there and down there. There's also arrows up over that way. I don't know if they're indicating the main level design. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how this will go. So you jump up there, you go up there, launch of things would probably put you. We see just giant tornadoes for some reason. Not quite sure what they're doing here. But there you go. Um, I imagine this will probably be in a bonus stage because it looks a bit out of place just having a regular stage, but we're not quite sure. There's more of those things. Springs would probably just launch you into the. I imagine. Oh, they're pointing a bit more to the left. I don't know. Um, here we see a game of Space Colony Arc in a 2D section. You can do these massive air boosts across. Destroy all those enemies. Again, I imagine you'd probably also be able to get up that way. If you did an air boost and then you could homing attack onto the enemies perhaps. But I think this might just speed it up a little bit. Which honestly I'm okay with. Again, you know, we've got lots of level designs and platforming sections you can go across. What What is that? That's a giant beetle with a weird glowing ring above his head. So maybe that's some sort of mini boss or maybe he's making the tornadoes perhaps. Or perhaps a special stage. Don't know. But anyway, there's a, a giant beetle thing there. Terrifying. The surf one is interesting. Again, it's not like the most exciting thing in the world, but it is a neat little idea, I guess. Um, it looks really cool. Shadow comes down here boom, onto these platforms. This is in the open zone area. You can see there's lots of different places you can go. These platforms up there, all the way over there. Probably be something up in that tower. We don't know for sure yet. He's just cool. Look at him. He is cool. This man's riding like a manta ray. Uh, you know, a few collectible things here and there. Different ramps, places you can go up. Stuff over there with rings and all that. I don't know if you'll be able to go in here without the manta ray. Or what? Yeah. There's these uh, areas. Really nice. Launches up over these ramps. You see there's grind rails over there, grind rails there, grind rails there. Lots of stuff. Um, that looks like a chest. There. Interesting. There's the Space Colony Arc section I was talking about. You can clearly see it says Space Colony Arc there as well. That terrain there on the left, though, looks like Chaos Island, doesn't it? That bit on the left. I'm not quite sure. That's obviously the entrance to the space colony. Um, springs. You can see, oh, Omega just chilling there. What is he doing? Bro is just standing there. Did he pop into existence or was he always there? Oh, no. He, uh, yeah. Yeah, the pop-in's still going strong. Um, he's just chilling there. What is he doing? Right, we see these things. Ah, you yeah, know, look, there are extra special stages. In the original generations, there were the gates with the bells. There's one there. So, these little extra missions. No idea what that thing is, which has opened up. Um, at all. But there you go. 
that. And here we see Metal Overlord, which is what we least expected. I think this has been confirmed. It's not whatever the stage was, Egg Fleet or whatever, but it's Spaceport from Forces. Um, the chemical plant version of that. Honestly, it looks cool. I like Spaceport. It's Spaceport is less chemical planty than all the other chemical plant duplicates we've had. So I don't really mind this. Um, especially in a Generations game. There's this, I mean, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. Look, there's the shot. There is the shot. Look at that. That's awesome. And then we get our title card. So yeah, that, that is just the trailer. Um, analyzed honestly to the, to the best I, I can. Um, it looks really nice. It looks really cool. The animations are spectacular. The level design actually looks really good. There's a lot of branching pathways. I'm intrigued how a lot of it's going to be managed. I imagine, honestly, it's probably going to be managed a bit like the Wisps. But there we go. Absolutely spectacular looking. I also want to quickly talk about... Stop. Um, this, which is uh, an interview which Izuka has done with PlayStation Blog. So, uh, Sonic X Shadow Shadow the Hedgehog new Doom Powers details. Now, there's this picture here, which is honestly just the coolest thing I've ever seen. Sonic Team Creative Officer Takashi Azuka discusses how they affect story and gameplay. Um, so, the, I think that's just the trailer, that is it. Just the trailer. Um, the launch of Sonic X Shadow Generations is coming fast this October. And everyone is curious to know more about Shadow the Hedgehog's new Doom Powers. So, the game's only about to... So, bear that in mind. Alright. So, the team just released a new trailer uh, about all the Doom powers, highlighting each unique ability and how they provide new choice to Shadows, platforming, and combat. The trailer also showcased gameplay of new stages, calling back to fan favourites such as Chaos Island. I wouldn't really say Chaos Island is a fan favourite, in fact, it's, it's like the worst island, but there you go, from Sonic Frontiers, and Radical Highway from Sonic Adventure 2. This is a bit I'm confused about, because Radical Highway was in... Space Colony Arc Act 1, it was the second half of that stage. But we see lots of Radical Highway here and there and everywhere. So I'm a bit confused about if that's going to be its own stage or what, but there you go. As well as iconic boss challenges like Metal Overlord from Sonic Heroes, eagle-eyed viewers might also capture a glimpse of the reimagined, you say eagle-eyed viewers, that's just all of them, the reimagined hub world white space, where players will get the opportunity to test out a master shadow's new moves whilst they explore unlock stages and uncover collectibles, so it's nice that we see some collectibles all about the place. We got together with Sonic Team Creative Officer Takashi Zuka to chat on why this game is a perfect opportunity to give Shadow new abilities, how they offer new action packed ways of navigating stages and boss battles. So we can see renders of all of the 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 well these three <laughs> renders of these three Oh look at that. Look at that. That's a mm, that's a good render. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They finally learned how to do good renders. Anyways. Uh where's the start? <laughs> where's the start? Okay, so the question was, why are Shadow's new Doom powers important to the story and gameplay? So we'll see if he actually talks about the story. So, Azuka Sana said, In terms of gameplay, the team wanted to make Shadow Generation's action more unique to differentiate it from what Sonic can do. So we added the new Doom powers. So this is quite interesting. So traditionally, with stuff like the Werehog or, you know, the Wisps, they do stuff to add to the gameplay, which is what he's basically saying here. But they do it in a in a bad way, right? It it kind of detracts from the overall experience. Like, I think, honestly, if you got rid of the Wisps, Sonic Colors would have been more 3D anyway. It'd be more open, more opportunities without the Wisps. Uh, keep some of them, like, laser, you know... Honestly, laser's the only good one. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, my back. Um... Shadow's new powers are essential because they give him new ways to attack enemies and traverse the world, obviously, which is really cool. It adds a lot more stuff. It doesn't really take away, it just adds more. Keeps the momentum, keeps the pace up as you're going along, which I love. Giving our team more to build upon each stage is level design. So he's clearly talking about building upon the level design very clearly. So that shows to me that they're at least confident in the level design because they never, they didn't do that with any game <laughs> you know so clearly that this this shows confidence and i'm excited for that while we can't share much about the story doom powers 
play an essential role in Shadow's journey and development throughout his campaign, giving him more powers to save the world. Shadow receives these when he awakens uh, to the power of darkness in the game, so players will see how closely they tie into the narrative when the game comes out later this year. There's also something I want to quickly talk about as well. Um, how long the game is going to be? Because honestly, I thought it was going to be like an hour or two. They have shown a lot for a game that's only an hour or two. And Izuka himself has said that it's shorter than original generation. He said the Shadow Generations portion is shorter than in the original generations bit. Original generations had nine stages with an Act 1 and Act 2. We know we get an Act 1 and Act 2 at least with all of these stages. And they've shown the first one was like five minutes each. Generation stages were only like three. And on top of that, you also have the open zone areas. So I'm struggling to see how it is going to be shorter than the original generations. Maybe the stages get shorter. Who knows? But, you know, just the open zone area alone, I imagine we'll add at least 30 minutes of gameplay. At least 30 minutes. I'd imagine just the hub world. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, how did you choose the final selection of Zoom... Of the Doom powers we see in the game, why are these powers right for Shadow? He said, Shadow is a dark anti-hero character, so the Doom powers had to embody a sense of danger and mystery that can be seen in Shadow's actions and movements. The level designers, again, talking about the level design, also incorporated many ways the Doom powers can be used in this platform action game, so they are not just additional combat moves, which is really interesting that they've decided to actually do it in more ways you can traverse in an additive fashion rather than a subtractive one they've previously done. Shadow can use Doom powers to platform around the world. Really cool. How are these powers different from Shadow's existing powers? When designing the levels, again, he's spoken about level design in three of these. Um, Shadow Generations, we wanted to make the most of Shadow's existing moves. Chaos Control, which enables him to find new platforms and run through each stage, and find new ways of attacking bosses. However, with only Chaos Control, the core of Shadow's gameplay is very similar to what Sonic can do, which is true, you know, boosts, homing attack, that's it. Um, so we introduced the Doom Power as a way to give the game a more unique action. Not only does it increase the variety of things you can do within platform action stages, it allows for great exploration, traversal abilities, 3D white space, hub world for Shadow. So also, um, I think the Doom Powers will add a lot of replayability. So imagine you play it through the first time, you unlock your Doom Powers as you go along. And once you've done that, you can then replay the stages, you can access areas you haven't accessed before, do shortcuts which you haven't done before. So that's really exciting, it's definitely going to add to the to the experience. There's a really cool render there. Uh, what was the design process like when conceptualizing the idea and design of each power? Uh, he said they realized they need to give Shadow new abilities and powers. I mean, he basically answers the same question to every, same answer to every single question. Um, so it can't make, to make it more enjoyable. Yeah, exactly the same thing, blah, 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 blah. Doom powers draw from the energy of Black Doom, so that's taken into consideration. Um, what Doom powers are you most excited for fans to experience? Izuka says, the Doom Wing. Honestly, I'm more excited for the <laughs> knockback one, but there you go. Doom Wing, the Black Wings which come out of Shadow in the Summer Game Fest trailer was an impactful idea in the early design process, so we wanted to make it the coolest looking of all the Doom Powers, and it is the coolest looking of all the Doom Powers, look at this man. Um, the Wings that come out of Shadow make you think of a devil, which go out of Shadow's dark hero elements and allow us to present something cool and new, something we couldn't do with Sonic. Again, you could Sonic could not have... <laughs> Devil, Doom, Death Wings, um, which is true. So I like I like the fact they've done that. Sonic fans, get ready to experience Shadow's dark side uh, and use all his new power to take on Black Doom and save the world. When the game launches this fall, uh, autumn, be sure to try out different kinds of paths and methods with each Doom power to find new ways of completing each stage and battle. Sonic is Shadow Generation available pre order, blah, 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 blah. There. There it is. So, yeah. This, this looks great. This looks, this looks really cool. And I'm really excited to play it. Um, I'll probably stream most, if not all, the game when in, somewhere around its release. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And they clearly have a lot of confidence. They're clearly putting in a lot of effort. I'm intrigued to see how a lot of these stages are incorporated. I'm intrigued to play the level design. It looks really fun. This could be the best, best Sonic game. 
not the longest, definitely not the longest, but this compared with Generations, Generations is an incredible game anyway. This with Generations as well, we could be in for some crazy things. Crazy, crazy, crazy things. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, any new reveals that get released, if they're substantial enough, I'll probably do a video on them. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.